There is renewed criticism of Portland's mayor tonight after a conservative journalist was violently attacked by Antifa just days ago. A local newspaper reporting that while Mayor Ted Wheeler says he plans to discuss ways to better control future protests, he's offering no specifics or timetables and police are reportedly unhappy. Let's bring in Andy No, the victim of that attack, to talk about where Portland goes from here. Andy, good to have you with us tonight. Thank you for having me on. I know once getting out of the hospital, you were back in the hospital again. You're out again. Um, what do you say to folks who say that you're overstating what happened to you? Um, most people have, ne have never experienced a brain injury, and I never did until the 29th of June. So... Um, I would say I would never wish what happened to me to any, on anybody else, and uh, I would just ask them to have the decency to um, uh, to just be a decent human being. Mm -hmm. oh, well, let me ask you this, because there's video, there are accounts, there are all kinds of things. Have there been any arrests? Do you know if anyone's been questioned? Have you talked to authorities about what comes next in holding people responsible, which the mayor has vowed to do? Well, so 10 days after the attack on me, as far as I know, there's been no arrests. I've only heard from a, um, the authorities twice over the phone. So uh, wherever they're at in their investigation, they have not kept me informed. Okay, and as you know, um, and as we've reported, I mean, police there have been uh, frustrated with, they say, kind of, you know, limits on their ability to respond and what they can do when a number of these things, and this is not, um, for people who saw what happened, uh, you know, 10 days ago, we've been covering and you've been covering for a long time all kinds of other uprisings and things that have happened in Portland. This is not a one-time kind of thing. But the mayor, the, the Oregonian reporting on um, Mayor Ted Wheeler about where he goes with this, they say he's offered no policy proposals and would not take a position on two options given by the police chief, Danielle Outlaw. She called for new city rules barring people from wearing masks during protests and empowering officers to videotape demonstrations. Um, do the police seem, do you think, any closer to getting a little bit more um, autonomy to handle things as they see fit on site when these things are unfolding? Well, according to Daryl Turner, the president of the police union, the answer is no. He's called for the mayor to um, to uncuff the the police officers to let them do their jobs. I'll let that speak for itself. As for the mayor's press conference yesterday, I mean, nine days after the attack on me, he finally came out and just issued platitudes about condemning violence, blaming violence on outsiders, which is wrong because uh, Antifa is a Portland movement, and had no proposals of his own and couldn't make up his mind on whether or not he would be against um, people who mask themselves while committing crimes and that should be a no-brainer well and there's a, you know a number of people there are a number of people now bubbling up saying hey rico uh, is something that might be applied here something uh, you know that of these loosely organized um quote criminal activities that kind of thing um in issues and insights they wrote ag Barr, the attorney general must stick rico on antifa the 21st century's kkk thomas mccardle writing covering your face to avoid identification so you can beat and intimidate in the name of your political agenda and avoid arrest and prosecution sound familiar. It's practically the definition of the Knights of the Ku Klux Klan. He makes that um, comparison between the groups. Uh, in the meantime, we know that the mayor spoke with the U.S. attorney there in Oregon. Um, do you have any sense that the feds would possibly get involved? I don't know if they will, but I hope so. This is, I mean, Antifa is a movement that has they essentially sells all, ac all across the country and their activists move from one jurisdiction to another to engage in these criminal activities. So it's going to take a lot more manpower than what any local authorities mm -hmm. are able okay. to do. All right, Andy, keep us updated and we will follow the case uh, and the investigation as well. Thank you. Thank you. Self-made billionaire, patriot and philanthropist who made